the game, of course. So um, this is a game called Stand Up. And the way it works is I'm going to make a series of statements. And when something is true for you, you're going to stand up. For those people who are standing up already, you'll just sort of make a sweeping upward gesture of some sort. If you've been to Ignite before, stand up. It was a similar question asked earlier. Yes, you've all been to Ignite before. Look at that. Lots of people. You can go ahead and sit down. Thank you. If you've ever done karaoke, stand up. Doesn't matter how you'd rate yourself in terms of karaoke, you should stand up. Look at that. Not bad. Who's with me later tonight? What do you think? All right, go ahead and sit down. If you've ever seen a kangaroo in real life, stand up. What doesn't matter if it was in a zoo or wherever it was. You can go ahead and stand up if you've seen them in real life. That's a lot of people. Go ahead and sit down. If you have a child in a Baltimore City school, stand up. All right. I would be standing up. I've got a kindergartner. Nice job. All right, you can go ahead and sit down. So what you'll notice is that you were engaged as you were playing this game. You were looking around, wondering what neighbors were standing up. Did you need to stand up? You were listening to my instructions. You were there. You were playing this game. While adults might think that play is trivial, uh, it's actually quite a serious business. Play is a biological drive as integral to our health as sleep and nutrition. Play enables us to innovate, to problem solve, to be happy, resilient human beings. We need play, and kids especially need it. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, play is absolutely essential to kids' physical health, their cognitive health, their um, social emotional development. Play is critical. Many kids, however, in Baltimore City don't get to play because they don't have safe places to play in their neighborhoods and communities. That's why we think recess is critical and we need to rescue it. There's a lot of pressure right now for standardized testing, making sure schools are making the grade. And guess what gets cut out? Recess. A lot of times it get, gets cut out. Oftentimes it's chaotic if a recess does exist. There's serious chaos on the playground. Recess is often the flashpoint for playground fights, discipline, discipline referrals, and injuries. So what is Playworks? Playworks is the answer to the question, how do we rescue recess? Our experience over the years has demonstrated that a relatively simple intervention to place one full-time well-trained coach at an urban school, there's Coach Dante, you see him on the screen? Yeah, I can see him right here. That's Coach Dante, he's at Belmont Elementary School, which is a school in Baltimore City, and he cares deeply. He's a mentor, he's playing with kids every day at recess time and kids look up to him in a serious way. There are 24 coaches in Baltimore City Schools. We're working and playing in Baltimore City Schools, um, reaching about 10,000 kids um, every single day. And we're doing that by leading recess, doing structured class game time, providing after school programs, providing interscholastic sports leagues. Here's a group of girls from Gardenville Elementary School. Um, they just completed their six-week all-girls basketball league. And you can't imagine the sort of confident smiles, the enthusiasm, the feeling of amazingness that comes from being part of a team. So the proof is really in the playing. 93% of staff that had Playworks in their school in 2008, 2009 reported more students are physically active at recess. 87% of staff are saying whatever that thing was that you just read. 71% of staff said that more students have on-task behavior in the classroom. What that really means is that teachers are actually recapturing instructional time because kids are coming back from the playground and they're sitting down and they're focused and they're ready to learn. And that's serious business. That's really, really valuable. Rock, paper, scissors. We teach conflict resolution with a very simple tool. We call it Rochambeau. It's also called rock, paper, scissors. You probably know it from your youth. You know, you're fighting over a ball. Who's going to get the ball? And you do rock, paper, scissors. It's so much easier. Our vision is really so simple. It's not complicated. Every kid needs a chance to play every day. Shouldn't be so hard. Um, and, and we can do this. We can do this. So I am encouraging you all to get a ball, get a hula hoop, get a jump rope, and get in the game. You can follow us online. We do Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave you with a little quote. It's 
list um, somewhere. I'm going to find it. It's a good one. You're going to turn to your uh, next door neighbor, whoever's near you, and you are going to give them a high five, and I'm going to leave you with this. You can discover more about a person in an hour of play than in a year of conversation. Stop talking. Let's start playing. <laughs>